What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Ultimate Edition Series 16 Razor Ramon figure. Now this is a longly anticipated, is longly even a damn word? Like what, what, what are we saying Brad? The long awaited, the long anticipated Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition is finally here man and this is actually the regular version. There is a chase version that is pretty much identical to the Defining Moments but I think they tweaked the color of the pink or the purple. They made it look better and I think a lot of people are going to be hyped for this Razor Ramon. I'm I'm happy with the gear we got here. You know, we've had Razor Ramon action figures over the years, but how will an Ultimate compare to the Elites that we have seen over the years from Mattel and WWE? If you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Would greatly appreciate that. But here is Razor Ramon in his packaging. Razor Ramon up there. Razor Ramon obviously here with his interchangeable heads, his IC Championship. Nice yellow, red, and gold black attire looking good. Nice image of Razor on the side. I think that's going to slide into your... <sighs> Damn this background. And we're back. Here's a shot of the back of the packaging. You got a picture of Razor there. Razor's name there. An image of actual Razor. Some info bio. All the good stuff, man. Razor Ramon on that side. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this Razor Ravone. Ravone. Good God in heaven, man. Get a grip. Nonetheless, man, we're going to crack Razor Ramon out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, and see if this is the Razor Ramon that we think it is. But we won't know unless we crack him out of his packaging. So with all that being said, also, that's out of line, bro. Scoot over a little bit. There you go. Let's shut the hell up, crack him out of his packaging, and find out. So here's Razor Ramon out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing thus far. I'm having a ton of fun with it. I like that we're getting something different for this Razor. You know, we did get some new head sculpts here. We get a brand new gear that we haven't seen before. And Razor was pretty basic when it comes to his gears. You know, it's basically kind of like Randy Orton, right? It was just like different color change here and there. I mean, he's a little bit more flamboyant. He's got a little bit more going on for him than Randy Orton. That's not what I meant there. But I just mean that he's got some coloration. You know, he's got some things going on with his gear. It's not just black and a color. He usually had some patterns in there, but it was mainly just Razor on the front. You get some graphics, and that was pretty much the end of the day there, but what we're gonna do is run through Razor Ramon's accessories and Razor Ramon's figure itself. We'll get into some comparisons, and you guys already know how the hell this stuff works, so let's find out what this Ultimate Edition Razor Ramon's all about, and get into his accessories. So getting into Razor Ramon's accessories, man, it's pretty much the standard for an Ultimate Edition. You get some entrance gear, you get a championship, interchangeable hands, three interchangeable heads, and I love these figures, man. Damn, this is a good time. Nonetheless, man, most of what people enjoy about Ultimate Editions is the interchangeable head sculpts. And I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not really feeling this one, man. Like, look at this right here. I love the 5 o'clock shadow. Razor Ramon, Scott Hall had one of the best damn facial hairs of all time, bro. I mean, like, if he clean shave at 5 a.m., by 5.30, this man would have a beautiful 5 o'clock shadow. Dude's beard grew in just magnificently. I was always jealous of it. Still am, to this day. But this face sculpt is very odd looking. It's like his face is elongated. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I'm going to be real with you, but you do have this like, kind of just neutral face. I just feel like the something's off about it. Whether the eyes are too wide or the nose is too long or the space between the nose and the top lip is off. I don't like this head sculpt to be honest with you, but the hair sculpt and the beard is nice. Then you have what is probably my favorite head sculpt and it is this pissed off razor head sculpt. I actually like this one a whole lot. I think the hair looks nice. The 5 o'clock shadow. The anger. Like, this is the best one by far. I, I don't think it's really close. The smiling one's not bad. Like, this one's solid, but I think it looks a little bit goofy. It's not my favorite, but this one right here is the money zone for me. I think this is the one I'm going to use on display and stuff, but you also have the smiling head sculpt or the smirking head sculpt, and these are good. This one's the best, like I said, but I guess this one isn't trash. I really wish we would have got a toothpick head sculpt, you know, having the toothpick in there for the display, but these, these, these get, I think we get one great head sculpt and a couple other mid head sculpts. Outside of that, we also get a beautiful black intercontinental championship from the 90s, and this one is a, a great championship. A lot of people prefer the white strap. I probably do too, but when I think of the black IC title, for some reason I just think of Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I, I guess it's just because of that 97 run, but that's who I think of. Who do you think of when you think of this version of the IC title? Let me know down in the comments section below. Probably won't be Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I'd like to throw it out there, but I'm glad to add another one of these to the collection. Now, outside of that, we also get an entrance vest, and I am about 100% sure this is the exact same Razor Ramon vest that we have seen a hundred times 
times before. We got the green version. We got the purple version. We got it with the blue version. Hell, we got an all black version, I think, with the WrestleMania 35 Elite Scott Hall. But Razor Ramon on the back, you get the buckle, you know, it's like the vest. It's kind of like a vest that goes underneath, like a tuxedo or something like that, you know, because you have the buttons in the front there. And then you do have, like, the little waist tightener in the back right there. So it's solid. You know, the yellow looks good. I think it works for the collection, but I don't know. We've seen it so many times before. It's not, you know, game changing or earth shattering. And then outside of that, we do get his signature necklaces. And you guys can see there, we do get the razor one in there. And it's all the gold chains stacked on top of each other. This looks to be the exact same sculpt we've seen so many times in the past. So it's not like, again, it's nothing earth shattering. Lots of re-releases in this, in this figure. You know, things that we've seen. Very similar stuff, but you do get the chains with the figure. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get a pair of fisted hands. For some reason, I can only find one. But I have so many damn many of this hand, it really doesn't matter. You also get your always iconic mic holding or object holding hands. You get the Finn Balor entrance slash you can't see me hands for your razor, so you can do the little finger twirlies or the entrance, you know, kind of airplane or the kind of jet motion. And then you get your thumbs up, thumbs down, mid, you know, thumbs up, hitchhiking style hands, which are great for the Samoan spike. They're, they're great for a thumbs up. They're great for anything. And these go perfect with Razor Ramon. So getting into Razor Ramon at the top of the head sculpt, we already discussed it. You know, I, I like this head sculpt. This is my favorite one. So I'm just going to keep him like this forever. But seriously though, I mean, isn't this the best one? You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But this torso actually shocks me. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same torso they used for Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles. Because this is not the fan takeover Shawn Michaels. That one actually is a tad different, which you guys will see in the comparison shot of the video. But I love the hairy stomach and chest that is accurate. Hell, I think even like hairy arms would have been cool to add to this figure or something like that. But you do have the black elbow pads in there, the double jointed arms, butterfly joints. You get the razors on the back of the left elbow pad. And then you do have the red trunks with the gold razors. And then you have a razor on the front there. Very cool. You do get the displaced tips here, which we'll go over the articulation very soon. But you have the bright red trunks. You have the same thighs that he's always come with, I'm pretty sure. Like, the same exact formula. These may be a little bit bigger, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. You have the big black knee pads with the gold razors on there. And then the tall black boots with the white outsoles and the white laces. Nothing too over the top right there. It's a Razor Ramon, you know? I think it gets the job done. I, I Again, I really like the formula that they have going here. Butterfly joints are tight. They're not super loose. You can bring it all the way back. And, you know, you get the double jointed arm in there. Ab like, these Ultimate Edition torsos are not good. You guys know that. But he's got the displaced hips, which allows him to, you know, do some really good kick forwards and stuff like that. I really like the displaced hips right there. Sometimes it can be a little bit annoying, but I'd rather have them than not have them. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. You know what I'm saying? But he's got the upper thigh cut. These large knee pads aren't going to do much for you. You know, you don't get a good knee bend in there. But... You get the upper thigh cut, you get the boot rotation, you get the toe pivot right there. And, you know, it gets the job done. It's a Razor Ramon. What do you want? Hey, yo. So, you know what? I, I like the Razor figure. I think this might be the best Razor they've ever made. You know, I th at least from a tail standpoint. Probably not my favorite gear. I'd really like to see, like, that anthracite and light blue style. But, uh, I like this. Let's get into some figure comparisons. And for figure comparisons, you do have the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Sean over here, which is the better Sean, in my opinion. You have the Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition Series 16, and then you you have the Mattel Creations Fun, I almost said Fundraiser, the Crowdfunding Diesel Ultimate Edition, which is also great, but you gotta have all three of these up next to each other, and they kind of like mismatch, like look at all their gears kind of matching all together, you got the black and the red and the white, and then combined to make this, you know, championship gold, yeah, you get the point, but you guys can see these torsos are different, this is the ultimate Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles torso, I'm pretty sure, again, at least when I'm looking at it, you know what I mean, this is the skin tone that they should have used on AJ Styles, but what do I know, Brad, you know? Lights are too bright for me. Can barely see out here. And then for your Razor Ramon figure comparisons and Scott Hall, you also have our WrestleMania 35 Elite Scott Hall, our Defining Moments Razor Ramon, our Ultimate Edition Razor Ramon, our Target Exclusive 3-Pack Raw 30th Anniversary Razor Ramon, and then the Legends Target Exclusive Elite Scott Hall. So, I am missing the blue version of Razor Ramon, which does bother me, and I do have to get the chase of the Ultimate Edition, which is this over here, but this figure does look good up next to these. I really do wish I had my blue version, but we're going to continue to get Scott Hall we're going to continue to get Razor, and I'm all aboard for it. I think it looks great. And I like the Ultimate Edition compared to the rest of the Elites. I know this three-pack is very good as well, but I think I would take the Ultimate over this one. Yeah, I think I would. Yep. 
I sure would, Brad. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Series 16 WWE Ultimate Edition Razor Ramon figure review. Love this pose, by the way, man. I love that stance, like the way he's leaning back. I have no idea how the hell gravity is not pulling that some bitch to the dirt. I'm gonna be honest with you, but he's leaning back. He's looking good. Look at him right there. Like, dude, it's honestly an optical illusion. If you saw it from my angle, you'd be like, holy shit, it looks like he's doing the damn Matrix or something. Nonetheless, man, I had a ton of fun with the review. I like this Razor Ramon a lot. I'm not over the mood about the head sculpts. I think that some of them are better than others. This is probably my favorite one, the kind of like disgusted, like who the hell do you think you are face sculpt. I like the formula they went with. I like the gear they went with, but the head sculpts do lack a little bit. They don't capture the likeness completely, I don't think. Outside of maybe this one that we have it posed with right here. I love the Icy Championship. I like that we got a Razor Ramon. I like that we have two different versions. I wish we would have gotten a toothpick head sculpt. I don't know how we didn't get a toothpick head sculpt, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like a huge deal breaker or something like that. How However, I am happy to have this Razor Ramon. I'm enjoying it. I like it a lot. I like the icy title about it. The formula is really what gets me. I think it looks a lot better to me. It's fully and complete. You know, you got the drop down hips. I'm not big on these knee pads either. They give them the gigantic knee pads. I don't really like that either, but here we are, Brad. What the hell are you going to do about it now? I guess you could like switch them out and put decals on them or just put plain black knee pads on there, but you got to have the razors on there, right? Nonetheless, I had a lot of fun with the Razor Ramon figure. I, I, I think he's going to look beautiful up on display. Got to track down the chase for sure. And that's pretty much my full thoughts on this figure, man. If you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over at WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS when shopping over there, like I said, save 10%, you know, get in all the goods. If you guys would like to support the channel, you want to check out some tiers, we got some figure giveaways, some Q&As, lots of in-depth bonus content, man. Definitely just go click on the Patreon link. Click on the Patreon link down in the description below. Check out the tiers. If it sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, go ahead and sign up. I We'd love to have you over there. Trying to slowly but surely build that thing up. Want to create like a nice tight-knit community over there. If you guys are interested in MDT merch, My Damn Toys merch, we do have a few different designs available on ProWrestlingTees.com slash MyDamnToys. Also a link in the description below. I appreciate everybody who already bought a shirt and signed up on the Patreon. Greatly appreciate that. We do have a few more designs coming. I know one design is coming on Monday afternoon more than likely that I think everybody's going to like. But that is going to wrap up the review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Go purchase this Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. Go